Hi guys, it's Beverly. So I'm in here. I'm coming on here to talk to you about my craft show that I just had, and some of my recent makes, and some of my gotta do's. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. <laughs> so yesterday was Saturday, the 24th of September, and I had a craft show. And I did pretty good. Um, I did my normal, so that's good. But I sold out of a couple of things. Remember this? This is the handle for the Biffer Duster wig. I'll show you a picture real quick. The Biffer Duster wig. And I made several, I think I had at least 10. And I sold them all. I sold them all. So that's what I'm going to be making next. And I do have a tutorial on my channel for the Bifford Duster wig. And, um, of course, the pattern's linked below in that tutorial. I put all my tutorials. I couldn't believe I had 30 of them. I made 30 tutorials in two years. I guess I should make more. But um, I've got to make a whole bunch of these. One woman ordered five. <laughs> and then pe after they sold out, people, other people were coming because they were showing other people. And some people just loved them because they were soft and fluffy. Uh, what I do when I make these is I use some uh, cotton, you know, 100% cotton for the center. And then I use Pip Squeak yarn which I don't have any in front of me I have some in the closet but it is the pip squeak yarn that I make the um duster part with and so I gotta make at least 15 of these things oh my goodness but I have until December to do that then I sold out of the Swiffer cover the mop the one you know that fits the floor here's a picture if so you can see what i'm talking about um i don't make this one with the ruffled edges i kind of make this one with the you know flat bottom and sides and um i used regular cotton yarn for it i think i did a tutorial on that too um here's my little written out pattern that I do and I know I had several of those but those all sold and I had two of the large ones you know some there's two sides of Swiffers for the floor the what I call the regular size um, and then which measures 10 inches so they're 5 by 10 inches and then the large one is 5 by 17 inches and I did sell one of those and I have one left of them but my goodness I gotta get going then <clears throat> I had request I had made the premier yarns sudsy sea turtle and I got request to make those I didn't have any this time and so some of my repeat customers showed up and they wanted some more so I gotta make some more of those before December so that's the craft show went pretty good and I got a lot of orders. Um, now the next thing I've been making is the down under scarf. Now this is a paid for pattern from Canoe Mountain Designs. And I got this off of Ravelry or Etsy or something like that. And I've mentioned this before. But I just love this pattern. Um, I fell in love and I wanted to know how to do, you know, this little crisscrossy thing here. And it's breathable because it has the holes in it. And it just worked out great. Now the yarns that I used on this, <clears throat> excuse me for clearing my throat. Um, the yarn I used is I love this yarn. And I had bought this like two years ago at the Hobby Lobby clearance. The one is Instant Classic, is the colorway. 
and I think it's just I love this yarn of course I yes I love this I love this yarn that's what it is super something <laughs> And this one is in the colorway. Would be too easy if it was right on the top. Suede shoes. So this is suede shoes. I and I love this yarn. And the other one is instant classic. Now, <clears throat> when you make this pattern, she calls for a size H hook. But I only had 252 yards of these two kinds of yarn and she calls for three she doesn't have it in yards so in meters she the pattern called for 375 meters but these schemes only had 230 meters so that's quite a bit of a difference so the first one in this color I used a G hook, a true G, a 4.0, oh, and I had enough yarn to finish it doing the number of rows that she set. The next one I got brave, <laughs> and I used a 4.5 G hook, but I had to leave off 10 rows in the middle. So this one, for example, is 55 inches and this one is 51 inches, but they're both long enough, you know, for what I wanted. So, but this pattern, it definitely is worth the money. And then she gives you a 10% off coupon for the next pattern that you might order. And I wanted to, sh or purchase, and she breaks down every single row it's gorgeous and there's a close-up so I really recommend um, this pattern when I first made this pattern I used um, oh gosh I can't think of the yarn I used but I, I had like three skeins and I had plenty you know they were three and a half three point five ounce skeins now she used a 80 percent acrylic and 20 percent wool the yarns that I used were all a hundred percent acrylic now I went on her website because I just love her designs and I found this pattern this is called the heartland cow and scarf set and so here's a picture but look at that scarf right here I just think that is so cool now this is a free pattern and she it's what is it called it is called the scarf challenge number four and canoe mountain designs so she's got a challenge going on this but I don't know when and where and all that stuff I just thought that design was really pretty um, she uses the alternative ch chain to someone's honking out my door alternative chain two which I really like because that makes your edges really straight and I, I think Bella Coco uses that too so um, now on this she uses Lion Brand Heartland so if you guys have bought the iron Lion Brand Heartland she uses two skeins and an eye hook and I can link this pattern below so I give you like the cow or a scarf the cow looks cool but I think I'm gonna do the scarf when I get around to it but what I got to do right now is I have to finish those blueberry socks I showed them before I knitted two together at the same time two at the same time and I need to finish those because this is September 24th and I want a finished object in Christie's Crochet Creations Sock Challenge. So I want to finish those socks. And then I have a Halloween challenge from Christie coming up. So I'll be showing that on October 1st. And 
So right now the plan is to, um, I sold a pink baby blanket again on Amazon. <laughs> so I've got to finish that. I got about five more rows on that blanket. Finish the blueberry socks. And then I got to start working on some of my um, orders. Like one lady ordered five of the um, Swiffers. Biffers. <laughs> and then she ordered two christening blankets. Um, she ordered both of them in white, but with just a little pink around the edge. And then just a little blue around the edge. But I don't need those till December. But, you know, I want to get them out of the way. So, that is the deal. I'm so excited that I had a successful craft show. And I was able to invite a lot of other people to our craft show December 4th. And in my community. And I made a little spending money. And I had a great time. And I'm going to insert some pictures here. I just wanted to check in with you guys. So, um, try those those socks. I'm going to, I'm knitting two together. And it is going to be the tube sock. So, I'll be finishing knitting them 18 inches. And then I'll do the Kitchener uh, toe to finish. And then the challenge by Christy in October. So, I'm sure you guys will hear from me again this week. Take care. Love you guys.